I'm not your typical football player. Corey Peters, defensive tackle. Because of his uh, play in the SEC, I knew I wanted him in the facility. Maybe not always flashy, but you know, a tackle is a tackle. 6'3", 302 pounds. Our motto is iron sharpens iron. 11 and a half career sacks. The teams will look at on the field character, he's got it. I feel like there's no defensive tackle in the country better. Let's go. I'll, I'll thank you every time and, and, you know, find little ways to put myself in a better position. The way he comes to work every day carrying his lunch pail, he's got that. No, nobody's going to outwork me. I aspire to be a coach. Not only am I going to learn that, I'm going to, I'm going to want to know why. body, mind, and spirit. He's mentally tough. When he straps it up on game day, uh, he's a beast on the field. I'm completely focused on the NFL Combine. That's the only thing that's on my mind. Good. Come on now. Well, the NFL Combine is, I guess, about the top 30 people at each position and maybe not even that many guys and to see how fast you are, the you know, 40 yard dash, how quick you are, pro agility, L cone, you know, how far you can jump, how strong you are body wise. And all right guys, same drill, but this time if I say jump, you jump in the air, land, feet are still chopping, all right? Yeah. Cliff Marshall, the, the director of the program here, he gave me a call a while back and I really liked him on the phone. We're not necessarily down here to make better football players, but better athletes. So my job is to create a situation where the guys become more athletic, uh, more faster, stronger, better is kind of our motto. I think simply because of his uh, play in the SEC, being a three-year starter, and the production that he had over those three years, I knew I wanted him in the facility. So I reached out to him. And, I was very blessed to get the opportunity to work with him over these next eight weeks. I actually made a decision on where I was training before I selected an agent or anything else. And, um, you know, I decided to come to Naples, Florida, as opposed to Cincinnati, you know, not only for the warm weather, but, you know, I wanted to be more out of my element and, and you know, with less distractions. Well, I think Corey as a defensive tackle uh, the 10 and the 20 yard dash are critical because that's where a defensive tackle plays on the football field. In addition to that, the two agility drills, the pro agility and the three cone L drill is critical as well because it's short burst and it's change of direction side to side. We want him to weigh over 300 pounds and run under a five flat 40. We want him to be in the four nines. The bench press, we just want to get around 25 um, and we're fighting to get that and I think we will. I wholeheartedly believe that the SEC is the best league in the country, you know. You know, look at this year, for example, you know, we played Florida and Alabama back to back. And, you know, I think those are the two best teams in the country. And, you know, when you can play against teams like that, we both have great offensive lines, you know, you'll be prepared for anything. I think maturity is the first word that I, that I think about when I think of Corey. You know, the one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations that we've had since he's been here just a decision-making process. I actually just finished up my undergraduate degree in education. Ultimately, I'd like to go back and get my master's and my teaching cert certification, but um, you know, I think I'm gonna try this out first and you know, see how it works out. Off the field character, it's obvious. You can look at Corey and see that he's done a, a number of great things off the field. The way he volunteers and the way he um, does a lot of outreach stuff is incredible. I usually start off watching the game just like anybody else would, but my desire is to ultimately be, become a coach. And so when I'm watching the game, ultimately, you know, watching offense, you know, they're moving players around. Why do they do that? How does the defense shift to that? How do they react to that? And, you know, if, if 
I'm watching a game where the announcers keep talking about somebody. I'll find myself watching that person, especially if they're a defensive lineman. Now be an athlete, pick your feet up, guys. It's gonna be tough. Gotta pick your feet up. Ready, sprint, back. Everything's going good, man. You know, everything's positive. It's a big jump from having to, to go to school and play football to now just playing football. So I'm enjoying it so far. Punch it up, punch it up, punch it up, boy. He's so coachable. If I tell him to make a correction, it it's made within one to two reps. Go pick those knees up now, pick those knees up. Ready, go, drive. I'm confident. Uh, you know, I, I just feel like all I need to do is get my foot in the door. So, you know, from that point on, just hard work and showing that I want to be there and that I'll work anybody up, up against me. And I think that everything else will take care of itself. I hope people pay more attention to my tape, but I also plan to blow them out of the water at the combine. You put his film in there and that speaks for itself. But in addition to that, you're getting a total package. The team that drafts me will have a very dependable defensive tackle for a long time to come. As long as they want to keep me, um, I will never give them a reason to get rid of me, other than I'm too old, you know, and, and that's something I can live with. It's been very inspiring uh, to see a young man uh, make decisions the way he's made those and not get caught up in so much of the hype like some of these players do. Can't wait to see the uh, look in his eyes, and uh, I know he'll dominate the combine. I'm very confident.